welcome back to our youtube channel today we have to discuss about 4 bit combinational circuit shifter or our hardware implementation for shift micro operations in computer organization course computer architecture course and computer organization and architecture course it is one of the important concept here the figure A shows hardware implementation for shift micro operations and the figure B shows function table for hardware implementation for shift micro operations. Now consider figure A. The 4 bit combinational circuit shifter contains 4 data inputs A0, A1, a2 and A3 and 4 data outputs H0, H1, H2 and H3 and 2 serial inputs one is IR and the second one is IL. IR is nothing but serial input for shift right operation. IL is nothing but serial input for shift left operation and 4 multiplexers. Each multiplexer has a size 2 by 1. That means this multiplexer can take 2 data inputs that are 0 and 1 and produce 1 output that is H0. This multiplexer can take 2 data inputs and produce 1 output that is H1. This multiplexer can take two inputs, data inputs 0 and 1 and produce one output H2. This multiplexer can take two data inputs 0 and 1 and produce one output H3. Among that two data inputs, we are selecting only one data input at a time. For that purpose, we require only one selection input line. This is called as selection input line. This selection input line can be denoted by letter S. If S value is equal to 0, we are performing the shift right operation that can be shown in the down. When S value is equal to 1, we are performing the shift left operation that can be shown in the upwards in the diagram. Now, while performing the shift right operation when S value is equal to 0, the input data bits are shifted towards right one bit at a time. When performing the shift left operation, if S is equal to 1, then we are performing the, we are shifting the input data bits towards left one bit at a time. Okay. Now, how we are performing the shifting operations? Okay. Now, here in this diagram, outputs are so H0, H1, H2, H3. So inputs are so A0, A1, A2, A3. Now we are performing a shift right operation when S is equal to 0. Okay. In the shift right operation, we are shifting the input data bits one bit at a time towards right okay so now a naught bit can be shifted to this place now we are getting this is a naught a one bit can be shifted to this place so now we are getting a one a two bit can be shifted to this place we are getting a two and a three bit can be discarded while performing shift right operation so this lsb bit can be discarded 
Now this place is vacant. This can be filled with. This can be filled with. So serial input IR. Serial input IR. Serial input IR. Because this vacant place is filled with the zero actually. So zero is nothing but serial input for right operation. Serial input for right operation can be denoted by IR. Okay. This can be done when S is equal to zero. In the function table, when S is equal to zero, so we are writing at the H naught IR we have to write. At the H1, A naught is we have to write. For H2, we have to write A1. For H3, we have to write a2. IR A0 A1 A2. IR A0 A1 A2. When S value is equal to 0, we are performing the shift right operation. While performing the shift right operation, we are shifting the input data bits towards the right. So at that time, the LSB bit A3 can be discarded and uh, the vacant place can be filled with serial input IR. Okay. Next. Next, we are performing the shift left, left operation. So, again, I have to write output H0, H1, H2, H3. So, inputs A0, A1, A2, A3. Okay. So we are performing the shift left operation. In shift left operation, we are shifting the input data bits towards left one bit at a time. Starting from, so LSB. Okay. So this data bit can be shifted to this place. So that is A3. And this data bit can be shifted to this place. This is A2. This data bit can be shifted to this place. A1. And the A0 bit is discarded. Okay. The vacant place is filled with serial input IL. Because we are performing the shift left operation. The vacant place is filled with the IL. When we are performing the shift right operation, the serial input is always filled at rightmost position. Okay. When we are performing the shift left operation, the serial input is placed at leftmost position. Okay. Now, so if S value is equal to 1, so H0 is H0 at H0 place we have to write A1. At H1 place we have to write A2. For H3 place we H2 place we have to write A3. For H3 place we have to write IL. Okay. So IL is connected to H3 output. A3 is connected to H2 output. A2 is connected to H1 output. A1 is connected to H0 output when S is equal to 1. That can be shown in this table when S value is equal to 1. When S value is equal to 0, so A2 is connected to H3 output. A1 is connected to H, uh, A1 is connected to H2 output. A0 is connected to H1 output. IR is connected to H0 output. Okay. So once we are getting this functional table, next we have to draw the, how to draw the circuit diagram. So 4-bit uh, combinational circuit shifter. Okay. So now A0, A1, A2, A3 are 4 data input bits first. So if S value is equal to 0, so IR is connected to H0. So this is IR. IR is connected to serial input G. IR is connected to zero data input of this multiplexer. IR is connected to 
zero input data bit of this multiplexer. So whenever S value is equal to zero, IR is a zero input, zero data input data bit is selected. That's value is IR. IR is connected to H naught. Okay. IR is connected to zero input data bit. Okay. So that S value is equal to zero. So that is connected to H naught. That means IR is connected to H naught output when S value is equal to zero. Next one. A naught is connected to H1 when the selection input value is 0. So A naught is connected to H1 when the selection input value is 0. Therefore, A naught is connected to 0 data input of this multiplexer. When S value is equal to 0, so this input is activated. A naught is connected to H1. Next one, A1 is connected to H2 output. So A1 is connected to H2 output when the selection input value is equal to 0. When the selection input value is equal to 0, this input is activated. Then A1 is connected to H2 output line. Next one, A2 is connected to H3 when the selection input value is 0. A3 is connected to H2. A3 is connected to sorry, A2 is connected to A2 is connected to H3. A2 is connected to H3 when the selection input value is equal to 0. When the selection input value is equal to 0, so A2 input is activated that is connected to H3 output. So this can be done when S value is equal to 0. How to draw the connections? Why? Now I am telling. Okay. So once again I am telling. So A2 is connected to H3. So here A2, A2 is connected to H3 when the selection input value is 0. When the selection input value is 0, okay, so then this the input data bit is activated. It is connected to A2. Now A2 input is connected to H3 output. Next one, A1 is connected to H2. So this is A1. A1 is connected to 0, 0 input data bit, the, when S value is equal to 0, this input data, input data bit is selected. So now A1 is activated, A1 is connected to H2. Next one, A0 is connected to H1. So A0 is connected to 0 input data bit of this multiplexer. When S value is equal to 0, this input data bit is activated. This value is A0. A0 is connected to output H1. Next one, IR is connected to H0. So this is IR. IR is connected to 0 input data bit of this multiplexer. When S value is equal to 0, so this input data is activated. So now IR is connected to H0 output. Okay. Next. Now we are performing S value is equal to 1. Okay. When S value is equal to 1, we are connected to 1 data input of each and every multiplexer. Okay, only we are connecting one input, one input data bit of every multiplexer. Okay, first one, A1 is connected to H0. So here, A1, A1 is connected to one input data bit of this multiplexer. When S value is equal to 1, so it is activated. So its value is A1. 
So A1 input data is activated, then A1 is connected to output H0. Next one, A2 is connected to H1. Okay. So here, this is A2. A2 is connected to one data input of this multiplexer. If S value is equal to 1, it is activated. So now this value is A2. Now A2 is connected to output H1. Next one, A3 is connected to H2. So this is A3. A3 is connected to one input data bit of this multiplexer. If S value is equal to 1, so this input is activated. Now A3 is connected to output H2. Next one, IL is connected to H3. So here serial input IL, IL is connected to one data input of uh, this multiplexer. When S value is equal to 1, this input is activated. This input is connected to output H3. Okay. While performing shift right operation, all the input data bits A0, A1, A2, A3 are connected to zero, zero data bit of every multiplexer. And while performing shift left operation, so input data bits A0, A1, A2, A3 are connected to one input of every multiplexer. Okay. So see this one. While performing shift left operation, A1, A2, A3, AL are connected to one, one data bit of every multiplexer. So here, first one, IL is connected to one input data bit. A3 is connected to one input data bit. A2 is connected to A, A2 is connected to one data input. Next, A1 is connected to one data input while performing shift left operation. While performing shift right operation, all input data bits are connected to zero input of every multiplexer. So see this one. IR is connected to zero input data bit of this multiplexer. A naught is connected to zero input data bit of this multiplexer. A one is connected to zero input data of this multiplexer. A two is connected to so zero data input of this multiplexer. So that means while performing shift left operation. All the input data bits are connected to one input of every multiplexer. One input of every multiplexer. While performing shift right operation, so all the input data bits are connected to zero input of every multiplexer. Uh, how zero input is activated? How one input is activated? By using the selection inputs. If S value is equal to 0, we are performing the shift right operation. So therefore, 0 input data is activated. Then whatever the input line that is connected, that input line is connected to output line. Okay. When S value is equal to 1, we are performing the shift left operation. All the input data bits are connected to so one input of every multiplexer. Okay, so by using this one, we have to draw the a function table. By using this function table, we are uh, doing the connections of 4-bit combinational circuit. So don't remember these connections. Okay, so first you have to perform this one. Then these values are inserted into the table. Now, according to that uh, function table, we have to write the connections. Don't remember these connections. According to this function table, you have to draw the uh, connections between uh, inputs and outputs. Then you have guaranteedly uh, draw the right connections. Otherwise, when we are remembering that one, so your connections may be wrong. Okay. So this is the description about the 4-bit combinational circuit shifter or a hardware implementation for shift micro operations.
I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in computer architecture and organization course. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. Okay. For better understanding of computer architecture and computer organization course, go to this channel and go to the playlist called computer organization. You are getting all the videos of computer organization and architecture course. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.